This is the winner of the event here. Here we go. Oh, yeah, we got the speed, baby. We got the... You know, maybe it's not the vehicles. Maybe it's the ramp. <laughs> I'm not going nearly as fast as I thought I would be. All right, here we go. Weave in. Weave, got, no, weave out, weave out, weave out. <laughs> Looking for the bowling pins. Where are they at? Oh, no, oh, no. Okay, here we go. Release. <laughs> it's going to slow-mo. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hello, YouTube Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Brick Rigs. Today, we've got a very epic challenge planned for you. Oh, that's too close. You guys, uh, Bob here has been testing his skills the last couple of episodes uh, with different flying creations. He's been doing some bombing. We've been doing some construction work. And today, we have the first annual Brick Rigs Olympics. And if you're asking what that is, uh, I really don't know. I mean, let's let's ask the other Bobs. Hey, Bobs, uh, what is the Olympics? Okay, yeah, that's uh, that's a good response. Uh, thanks for that. But anyways, I've got some events set up here today uh, that I thought would be actually really cool to do. Uh, we actually had one of these events somewhat planned out multiplayer, but it just didn't work for some reason. It's like everybody was seeing something different on the screen. But what we have here, we've got a Red Bull Air Racer, which I'm going to set up an obstacle course in the air and we're going to test out Bob's skills at flying a little mini fighter type craft and we have another bomb challenge now this bomb challenge is going to be a little bit more unique because of the target uh, we are going to go bowling for bombs or bombs bowling something like that and we have some vehicles now I just went ahead and took out this Gymkhana it's like a Ford Mustang uh, I think it's a uh, pin blocks latest vehicle if I'm not mistaken but yeah, I brought this out because I'm pretty sure I've got some other stunts planned here. So let's go ahead and go to the city real quick and check out some of the events that I've already set up. Uh, one of the events is going to be a jumping of the buses. Now, I only have one bus spawned at the moment because these buses can get a little laggy once you get too many of them out. So we're going to have a jump challenge here. Over here, we are going to set up the Red Bull Air Race Challenge. We've got these towers that we're going to have to swing in between and we're probably going to loop into the city. And, like I said, we have another bombing challenge. Now, just ignore the building back there. Bob and Bob's Construction, they set up another office. Uh, this is like the third one in a row that they've set up. But that's not the target. The target are these bowling pins. So it's a precision bombing challenge. And the vehicle that I have to use only has three bombs in it. So this is going to be quite a bit of a challenge here. So yeah, this is probably going to go horribly wrong. But I think it's going to be fairly entertaining. Now, one last thing before we start the event. I want to go ahead and acknowledge, yes folks, I do have a new logo, it's the Burger CG. I think it looks so awesome, I want to thank the guy who actually did the artwork. Uh, he did a fantastic job, uh, so I'll link his uh, profile in the description. And uh, also, we do have some merch now with that logo on it, and that'll be also down in the description, because I've had a lot of people ask me for some sort of t-shirts and stuff like that, and I just, I've never gotten around to it, and I finally have committed, and it's on a shirt, so... That's down in the description, too. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into this. Okay, I guess Bob's going to be most comfortable with the bomber. So we're probably going to do the precision bombing event first. Uh, this is a, it's like a B-57B. I don't know from which era this is from. This is made by Alex. Uh, he's a very popular uh, workshop creator in Brick Rigs. And yeah, like I said, I have no clue where this thing came from. I want to say maybe 60s, 70s? Kind of looks like it might be from that era. But yeah, this thing has three bombs in it, so this is going to be a bit of a challenge. And also, this thing has jets on it, and you, you guys know how good I am with jets. So, uh, all right, we are ready to go for the first event of the Olympic Challenge. Let's go ahead. We're going to test out our uh, plane here. Get the flap test. Everything seems good. Is, is that an air brake? That's kind of cool. All right, here we go. We are ready to go up in the air. So I'm going to go up in the air, and I've got to circle around, and hopefully be in... Oh, my uh, parking brake's on. There we go. <laughs> this is off to a great start. Bob knows exactly what he's doing. He is an expert pilot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a really wide turn here, and I'm going to line myself up with the road. And remember, I'm only supposed to blow up the bowling pins. I'm tr going to try not to hit the building. Uh, that's the ultimate goal, but we know how well that's going to go. 
All right, here we are, attempt number one. I'm gonna try to let off as much as possible right before we get to the bowling pins because these these jets have a lot more going for them, and I have a feeling this is gonna be, I'm gonna have to release really early here. So let's go ahead and open the bomb bay doors. I think I'm gonna hit the four key to actually release here. So let's let off, try to glide in. This is fairly, fairly good. Looking for the bowling pins. Looking for the bowling pins. Where are they at? Oh no, oh no. Okay, here we go. Release! Release! <laughs> it's going to slow-mo. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, that isn't, that isn't even close. It's not close at all. Okay, avoid the building. The building is a penalty. <gasps> oh, we hit some! Oh, we're gonna hit the building too. Oh, don't detonate! Don't detonate! <laughs> Wait, what? Huh. It's a pretty strong building. Oh, oh, alright. Full speed. Alright, well... Oh. Oh, hey, that's a strike. I mean, technically we caught the building on fire, but uh, we did knock down all the pins. I feel like that was cheating. The, the one bomb or the two bombs landed to the right of the uh, the bowling pins and set off, which that was good there, but I didn't intend on doing that. Uh, that was what I was going to try to avoid. You know what's weird is there's no impact mark. It's just on fire. All right, I'm going to set those bowling pins up again because I feel like that's a little bit of a penalty there. I did get a strike technically, but I also uh, caught the building on fire. So let's do another setup. Let's go and look at the devastation real quick. Uh, where is Bob? Bob, wait. Hey, Bob's still alive. This is the best plane ever. <laughs> How's it going, Bob? You just hanging out? All right, we are coming in for another run here. Now, I am going to use slow-mo, but I'm not going to use it until after I release the bombs because I feel like that might be cheating a little bit. But I want to be able to see where the bombs go without having to turn the camera real quick. So, uh, Bob's going to make another run here. I can see the bowling pins. Okay, we're going to go slow on this one because this is all about precision here. All right, here we go. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Release! Release your bombs! Oh, I think I released too soon. I think we're going too slow for this one. To believe I could go too slow in an attempt. Up, oh, up. Oh. Are we gonna have a chain reaction? Is something gonna hit the pins here? Uh, where's the plane gonna go? The plane is just going so slow. Uh oh, the plane's gonna hit the pins. That's it. That's cheating too. The plane's uh, the plane can't hit the pins. That's it's got to be the bomb impact that does it. All right, let's set up for another one. Now we know that we can go too slow in the jets. Kind of wish we would have cleared out that other big building. All right, here we go. We're kind of carrying the right amount of speed here. We went too slow last time, uh, but I feel like this is going to be good. We're going to wait. It's that building on the left that I keep getting really close to. All right, here we go. This is going to be it, folks. Here we go, and release. Release the bombs. Uh-oh, the plane's going to hit the building. That's okay. It's really the bombs. Is this going to be the strike that we need? Oh, you're going to have to detonate. They have to detonate here. Come on. Get the green side, green side, green side, green side. Where are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing? What? <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> the bombs. Oh, there we go. The wheel hit the, the pins. Uh, the bombs kind of hit the building again, but that's not bad. Uh, that was two pins. Uh, technically three if you count the one that's on fire in Charbroiled. Uh, but other than that, you know, I give that, I would say... We'll go three bobs out of five as a score there. I'm going to have to take a bob off or two for uh, the damage done to the building in the background. But other than that, we had one successful attempt. We had a, well, this is about as good as I can bowl in real life. Uh, this attempt here, and then we had the one completely failed attempt where we uh, went too slow there. So, yeah, that's a fair score. Anyways, uh, we're going to have to clean this mess up here, and I think we're ready to go on to the next event in the Olympic Games here. All right, so the next event is the Red Bull time trial obstacle race plane race thing. So, obviously this isn't sponsored by Red Bull. It's just one of the Red Bull air racers. Uh, these are actually kind of cool. I've watched these once in real life. Uh, it's something to see. It's a little dangerous, but we've got our own version of it here. Now, Bobs, did y'all enjoy that last event? Yeah, it was a good event. You guys ready for this one? Yeah. All right, so as far as the course goes, I've kind of set up a little temporary course here around the city and through it. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to start here, fly in, we're going to go through the city here, and we're going to use these towers 
as the kind of the objective points and they're also going to be used to weave in and out of. So we'll swing through the city here. We're going to take a left at the first tower and we're going to swing around this tower here. Now once we get onto this straightaway, we are going to need to swing in and out of these towers. I don't know if this plane can do that, but we're going to attempt it. And then we're going to make another left here. And we're going to go over the train yard, take another left here. Uh, we're actually going to go around these, by the way. Not I can't cut these. And then we're going to have to take a really, really sharp left here. And swing down through the city, go down the main road, back out to the airfield to the finish line, which is this tower here. This is one of Dave's towers. So, I have a feeling I'm gonna crash into a lot of buildings and or towers during this. But yeah, the, uh, the Red Bull Air Racer here is made by Raven Lady. I've tested it out just a little bit. It seems fairly agile, and I think this is gonna actually work. So, we're gonna get up in the air, and we're gonna go down the road, and we're gonna start this competition and see just what happens here. All right, Red Bull Air Racer is lined up with the approach. I don't wonder if I should do this from the inside of it. I don't know what the cockpit cam's like. This thing rolls really good, but I'm not sure about the turning ability, so... Let's go ahead, go through, go really close to the buildings here, and then we're gonna need to turn left. Oh, no! <laughs> we didn't make it to the first... Actually, technically, we did make it to the first tower. Oh, uh, where did Bob go? Bob, are you in there? Oh, there he is. He's under the, uh, the wing. He's just, uh, he's taking a nap right now. Okay, this thing turns a, or it's, this thing rolls a lot faster than I thought it did. Um, all right, let's line that up again. Uh, let's, let's slow it down. I thought I was going to be able to go in there, like, wide open and get around this course, but I might have overestimated this. Uh, let's line up again. All right, Bob. A little less on the throttle this time. It's kind of cool to pass by the city really fast and get really low to the buildings, but it's the turning, so here we go. Let's turn. Oh, this thing doesn't turn the way I need it to. Okay, we might be switching crafts here. Uh, let's see. It rolls really good like a stunt plane, but yeah, I mean, you could do this, but this thing, it's not really doing It's not really doing the turning thing that I need. Yeah, the arrow keys just make it roll. All right, Bob, uh, I need a second opinion on this one here. The Bob judges are not too impressed. Let's line that up one more time and just see if we need to switch the crafts. I'm going to leave the course up because I feel like there is a fighter out there that is capable of doing this. All right, Red Bull Air Racer attempt number three. Bob's got it this time. Uh, I still haven't learned how to turn in this thing, but other than that, I mean, this thing rolls like a champion. If this was a rolling competition, we would be good. So let's go ahead and turn. <laughs> just saying. Yeah, it just turns so quick, it's so hard to react to get the actual, you know, the turning thing. It rolls so fast. All right, Bob, uh, we need to do a, a reevaluation of what we're going to do here. Obviously, I don't think I can pilot this one to success or to victory. Let's go find another, uh, maybe a little bit more controllable airplane for me. All right, we've got another airplane here. I'm actually going to go with the Bat Duck Corsair. I feel like this one can actually accomplish the course. I use this plane quite often because it's just so controllable. So, let's go ahead and get moving here. Oh, hey, Bobs. Oh, <laughs> it's okay, Bobs. I'll be back here in a second. So, yeah, I'm going to get up in the air, and we're going to... What is wrong with this airplane? It is wobble... Oh, one of the rotors is gone. That's what's making it wobble. Anyways, uh, let's go line back up with the uh, start line and try to make this work. All right, here we go. Time to start the city time trial. Let's come in low. All right, let's hope that I can actually hook around this tower here. All right, gonna let off a little bit. There we go. That's that's better. That's better. I don't know about the uh, the weaving in and out of the towers here. Got to get close to the towers. That's that's the style points there. <laughs> I'm not going nearly as fast as I thought I would be. All right, here we go. Weave in. We've got no. Weave out. Weave out. Weave out. <laughs> Hey, does it count if I take out half the tower? And then the train's gonna finish it off here? Oh, wow. Okay, I kinda know how to anticipate that now. Let's go set the tower back up. All right, here we go. We are starting once again. Time trial, run, city, don't crash. All right, kinda get close to the buildings here. That's style points, that is style points right there. Okay, we're gonna swing around the tower here. Make a big, wide arch around this tower here 
Oh, don't hit it. Don't hit it. Okay. Here we go. This is the tough part. So we're going to swing in. There's that tower. And this is the tight tower. So we need to flip over. We need to come on. Get up in there. Oh. <laughs> I really almost thought that that was going to work. I almost made it, folks. All right. I know what to do here. I know what to do. We got this. All right. Here we go. Time trial has once again commenced. Got to get close to the buildings. Got to get those bob points. There we go. All right. Get close to the bridge. Here we go. Let's go ahead and take that left wide turn here. Want to kind of get it close to the tower here. Oh, that wasn't very close, but I'll take it. All right. We're going to swing around. You got to go in between the towers here. There we go. There's tower one. All right. There's tower two. Oh, there's tower three. Okay. We're good. Got to fly low over the train yard here. See it so they can actually see the pilots, all the bobs that are watching. Oh, oh, that was almost too low. All right, here we go. This is going to be a left here. And then we got a sharp, sharp left here. So let's go sharp left. Down in between. I need to get in between the buildings on the street here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. No. No. Oh, we're good. <laughs> We're good. We're good. It's a little messy. A little messy. That might be a bob deduction. All right. And we got to make it to the finish line here. Up, 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 up. Finish line. No, I missed it. I missed the finish line. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm not supposed to hit that. All right. That might be another bob deduction. All right. Come back in. We got to hit the tower. It's part of the finish here. Part of the finish. And there we go. We clipped the tower. There it goes. All right, hey, we might land. Oh, no, nope. Well, that worked actually quite well. I would say I probably could have gotten a little bit closer to this tower here, so that's probably a points deduction. Kind of swung a little wide, but I did get kind of down in between the buildings here, and I did skim a building, so that's another probably Bob deduction. Uh, I actually did the, uh, the swing in and out of the towers here fairly well, Except for I almost killed the last tower. That is a, it's kind of tricky to do. Even in a slow plane, that's tricky. And I wouldn't say it's a very slow plane, but still. So got over the rail yard. Yeah, you know what? I'm probably going to have to give that, let's go three and a half bobs out of five. I, I feel like that was a, a worthy score. All right, well, we have one last event here, and it is going to be the bus jump stunt. All right, so it is getting late in the day, and we are here for our final event of the Stunt Challenge Olympics, and we've got a bus jump. Now, we've got nine buses. I probably would have done more, but the frame rate started to tank a bit. Uh, this is kind of an intense bus here. But yeah, we have nine fancy buses. Uh, this is probably where all, those, all the spectators actually came in on these buses, and we just set up a ramp on the other side. Uh, but yeah, this was kind of hard to set up. Honestly, this bridge is very, very tight. So... We've got these. We got the crowd of Bobs. Say hi, Bobs. Yeah. And they're ready to uh, watch the festivities here. So I've got four vehicles here. These are all by batteries. And I think maybe two of these might work. I don't know. I've got this big 4x4 Hunter takedown. I've driven this before. I feel like this might work with enough speed. Uh, we've got like a, a van here, which I don't think this is going to work. The only reason I picked it is because it's got some ground clearance here. And I have a feeling we might need that for the ramp. I've got the Ken Block, uh, the Ford Mustang here. And I don't think this is going to make it, but this thing is an absolute beast. And then we have a Plymouth here. And I feel like this might be one of our best chances. Uh, there's a bit more ground clearance as soon as we hop up on that ramp. So, uh, hmm. What do we want to try first? Let's go with what I don't think is going to make it. Let's go ahead and get into the Ken Block. Uh, this is his... Uh, I forgot what the videos are called. It's like the Jim Connor videos. Uh, yeah, this is what he used. This thing's insane. It's got a drag motor, and I can hardly keep this thing straight. This thing's a, a drift monster. You know, it would be kind of cool to make like a, a Brick Riggs Jim Connor video if I was actually good at driving. Look at that. Look how, look how sideways this thing gets. And maybe we can do it out here at the airport. We can do some stunts that way. I think I just gave myself an idea. All right, so... You know, just to have plenty of speed, we're going to start way back here. If I can keep this thing straight, we'll be good. Now, the one thing I did do, the ramp itself is indestructible because a lot of these ramps will break on impact. 
but everything else, the destruction physics are on. So, let's get lined up here. Don't want to spin out in the grass, so let's go ahead and give it some gas here. All right. Oh, this thing's so loose. Oh, there goes Beast. All right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? I think it just bottomed out and it shoved the nose. Uh, it's okay, Bob's. Uh, we're going to set that up again for you. Wow. All right, here we go. Ready to go. Giving it a little bit of gas. And a lot of gas. Let's do this. All right, don't explode this time. Don't explode. All right, full speed. Here we go. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh no, one of the buses is on fire. Okay, that's okay. Uh, it's just one of the beginner buses. As long as it doesn't explode. Oh. Hey, the Bob's got quite a bit of a show there. Um, that's what I was talking about. The uh, the low ground clearance. I had a feeling that wasn't going to work. Uh, but yeah. Hmm. I guess you can say that was kind of cool, though, at least. Shove the ramp into the first bus and... Oh no, there goes another bus on fire. Uh, it's still cool. As long as they don't catch even more buses on fire, we're okay. Uh, let's clean up this mess and let's go to the next vehicle. Alright, so I was thinking of using this Plymouth last, but I don't know if it's got that much more ground clearance than the uh, the Gymkhana mobile over there, so uh, I think we're going to have to go ahead and use this one and see if we can clear that ramp. So, let's see, this one doesn't have quite as much speed, but I should be able to carry the speed consistently, and all oh, the buses are still burning up there. <laughs> oh boy, alright. We're on the main road. Oh, don't, don't break, don't break. Here we go. What is it doing? It's like basketballs. Stop bouncing. Stop. <laughs> Hold on. Call it, call it off, call it off. <laughs> All right. Oh. Man, these buses are charring themselves. Dang it. All right, attempt two. Attempt two is ready to be commenced. All right, let's not have the bouncy tires this time. All right, we're good. We are good. Here we go. Full speed. <laughs> Yep, ground clearance, ground clearance. Well, that one didn't explode like the last one. It made it a little bit further. Yeah. All right, well, we are going to have to use a bigger vehicle. I guess the next logical step is going to be to use the van, and then we'll probably try the uh, Hunter takedown. And can you please stop burning all the buses? Uh, actually, I think the fire is contained to just one bus now. Uh, and it's going to spread here. Jeez. All right, so we are in a, well, I'll call this like a Chevy, like, storage van. I don't know what the actual model of this is. But, yes, uh, once again, this one has more ground clearance. I don't know if it just, maybe it just doesn't go as fast as we need it to. And, oh, this is going to be a bit slow. Let's back up just a bit more here. Shove it into drive, and we are ready to go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yep. This isn't very fast, uh, but watch this work. Either that, or I think we're going to land right on the buses. You know, I don't wonder if it's the parking brake on the ramp that needs to be uh, engaged to try to keep it to, uh, or try to keep it from moving, but I don't know. Let's, uh, let's see what happens here. All right, we're getting some speed. We're getting some speed. All right. All right. Here we go. Chevy van. Launch it. Wow. I am disappointed with myself right now. All right, Hunter Takedown it is. All right, we are here once again. We are with the Hunter Takedown. You know, so far this last event has got like maybe half a bob out of five right now. Uh, not too impressed, but this is going to change it all. This thing is got big tires. It's tall. I feel like this is the winner. This is the winner of the event here. Here we go. Oh, yeah, we got the speed, baby. We got the... You know, maybe it's not the vehicles. Maybe it's the ramp. <laughs> what the heck? All right, we're going. We're switching ramps here. Apparently, this ramp doesn't uh, hold up to the uh, the brick quality control. Uh, I thought this ramp. I've used it before. I thought it worked, but uh, maybe this is a little too tall. Let's go to another ramp real quick. Okay, so we have a new ramp here. This is the mega ramp, and I feel like this ramp's gonna work because of how low the lip is, and it's a gradual incline until we launch off the top. So. We're going to go grab the Hunter Takedown again, and we are going to attempt this and hope it works. All right, Bob the Stunt Man is ready to go here. He's going to release his inner Dukes of Hazard on that ramp. I think we've got it this time. I feel confident that the ramp's going to hold, and we are going to be good. So here we go. Got to get some of that speed, though. Here we go, and there we go. 
go! Oh wow, we really cleared that. Uh oh, oh, come on Bob. You got this, survive. Is Bob gonna make it? Yes, <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. I mean, we didn't stick the landing, so that might be a, a maybe a negative one Bob deduction there. But wow, we sure did clear those buses. That worked way better than I thought it would. Huh, that is awesome. All right, you know, I give that one four bobs out of five. That is our highest score yet. That was really awesome. Well, it is time for the closing ceremonies and we've got one thing left to do. Let me go grab it. All right, grand finale time. It is time to take out those buses. Uh, this is a vehicle made by Blue Flame. We've actually used this in one of the crash challenges. This thing is loaded down with explosives. So let's go ahead. We're gonna, let's go ahead and gas up here. We're, we are gonna do this in slow-mo because I wanna see how epic this looks. So here we go. Let's get some speed, get some speed. And slow-mo. It is time to close off the games. All right, this is gonna be cool. Uh, where's the train at? That would be epic if the train would pass by as this explodes, but here we go. And full speed. There we go. That worked out pretty good. I, I must say I'm impressed. You know what? Let's, ju let's just bomb it again. Let's do it again. Here we go. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyways, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Brick Rigs. If you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. Uh, if you have any ideas for Brick Rigs videos, comment below. We will be returning back with some more. That looks so cool. <laughs> Multiplayer. Uh, so we'll be doing that very, very soon. Also got some other videos planned. I'm going to be bringing a series back real soon. And we'll be doing a new series also real soon. So, yeah, if you like to like and subscribe, everything helps the channel. And we will see you guys next time on Brick Rigs. Thank you.